How's it going, folks? This is Gray, followed by a number or something like that. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me in this very bright window, but uh, we're having our first snowstorm, and it appears to have stopped momentarily, but winter has arrived in the uh, great unwashed Midwest. We're all thrilled about that. So why am I here? I am here to do a very brief update on books. Okay, I bought a couple of uh, new books from Barnes & Noble this week. I can't seem to drag myself out of that place this day and age. I don't know why, but I just feel like spending a lot of money is just falling out of my hands like you know sand. So here's the first one. This is a book by one of my favorite film critics, David Thompson. It's called How to Watch a Movie. Now, of course, we all need someone to write a book and tell us how to watch a movie. So, But I, this just looked like great fun to me. I've got several books by this guy, and he's very literate, very intelligent. And this is cool. He's, I've, I've sort of got into the, I'm into the second chapter, and he's just talking about different things, about the uh, cinematic information, uh, what do you see, what do you hear, um, what is a cut, how does it hurt, or does it hurt, what is a shot, all this little stuff about, you know, watching and seeing, um, see it once, watch it twice, just, I don't know, he's got all these references to old classic films, directors, and a lot of the actors that were in those films, and it's just great fun, and I'm hoping I will learn something since I consider my, oh, well, I am taking film classes now, so I don't know, this stuff is more and more important to me all the time. So that's that. Uh, okay. I also bought this wonderful book all about the work of Woody Allen, and uh, on the back it's got this fantastic quote from Woody which is, I don't want to achieve immortality through my work. I want to achieve it through not dying. <laughs> so, I know a lot of people don't like Woody Allen anymore because of his personal life. Um, you know, I, I have my ambivalent feelings myself about some of the allegations about him, but I still like him very much as a filmmaker, a writer, a director, and, and also as an actor in most of the things that he's been in. And this is loaded with information about all of his films, starting off when he was just um, doing a screenplay Let's see, I think the first film that he was involved in was What's New Pussycat, right? It's Breaking Into Hollywood. Yeah, What's New Pussycat? And in that one, he was only an actor. And then later on, he started doing, you know, writing and sometimes directing and acting in his own films. And every once in a while, even late in his career, he would he would just appear as an actor in some films without having anything to do with the, the production. So this this has just got all of the films up to his, his very last one, which was called, oh boy, I saw this movie and I've already forgotten the name of it. How about that? It was called, hang on, hang on, Irrational Man, 2015, starring um, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Very good little movie. And it was, it was one of Woody's serious films. And um, yeah, so it's got, it's got reviews all the way up to that film that he's done and talking about what he might do in the future and different people that he's worked with, including a lot about Mia Farrow, because she was one of his most important actresses. So anyway, I've already got into some of this, uh, looking looking at the information about some of my favorite films like Crimes and Misdemeanors, and it's a it's really, really interesting book. So I've got that. And the rest of these are used books. I We have a terrific used bookstore here in town, and uh, they have a lot of film books that I like to buy. I picked up these, well, actually, I bought three of these. These are books by Roger Ebert that he used to put out, I think he was putting them out every year or almost every year, uh, all the film reviews for that year and, and during that time, um, 2002, 2005. And I bought another one of these. I don't remember which year it was, and I don't remember where it is. I've already misplaced it. So if you... <laughs> If you could look around my house, you would realize that once things disappear, they usually stay that way for a long time. But I know it's here someplace. But anyway, I love Roger Ebert. I love his writing. So I decided to go ahead and uh, get get his books and get as many of them, of them as I can. Okay, I also found this really fun bo uh, book. It's called The Great Movie Serials. Now, this was actually published way back in 1971. It's still in pretty good shape. What it has... It's got most of the major serial films uh, all through the years of Hollywood and uh, talking about each one 
and giving a list of every film made in those series and all the actors who were involved in it. So it's got it's got series such as Andy Hardy, Blondie, Bamba, The Jungle Boy, Boston Blackie, The Bowery Boys, Charlie Chan, Crime Doctor, Dr. Christian. Some of these I've never seen any of these movies. Dr. Kildare, Ellery Queen, The Falcon, Francis the Talking Mule. Now that, that that's a good one. I actually I've never seen any. Uh, Hop Along Cassidy, James Bond, Jungle Jim, The Lone Wolf, Ma and Paul Kettle, Maisie, starring Ann Southern of MGM, Matt Helm, Mr. Moto, Philo Vance, The Saint, Sherlock Holmes, Tarzan, and The Thin Man. So, yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. And uh, I don't know. This is the kind of thing that I read at breakfast. <laughs> just for fun. I also bought another book. I just picked this up because it was uh, so strange. It's called Too Cool. Too Cool. It says on the cover, an in-depth guide to the most out-of-sight movies, music, books, TV, characters, and creation. creations. The real wrap on hundreds of items of enduring bossness, whatever the hell that means, complete with product information and shopping leads. Okay, from the creators of the Catalog of Cool, which I never heard of, but it's on the back. It's got, shake it up, baby, you know, just loaded with pictures. Um, little anecdotes about different actors, different films, a lot of which I've heard of, a lot of which I've never heard of, and um, it's just fun to look through. And finally, I bought this, um, the new Star Trek uh, Magazine 2016 special, which is nice, big, and thick, and uh, everything you never wanted to know about Star Trek for the new year. And that's my update. Uh, that's probably enough. So if you have any comments about the books that I'm showing you, um, any questions or anything, just just... Spit it out, folks. It's all good.